Hi everyone, Miss Hauser here. You're going to get your sketchbook out. If you don't have a sketchbook, grab a piece of paper and you are going to open it up to a blank piece of paper. Make sure you have a pencil because pencil erases, so you want to use that. So we're going to start with our planter. We're going to do the top of the planter. So I'm going to do a curve line, almost like a smiley face, right in the middle of the paper. And then I am going to, on each side, add the curved line for the sides of the pot. All right, they don't have to be perfect, and if they're not symmetrical, that's okay. And then I'm going to put the bottom part of the pot. I want my pot resting somewhere, so I'm going to add the background. I'm just going to add a horizontal line in the back to make it look like it's on a table or a floor. So now this is where you are going to be creative and come up with your own design, or if you would like to use the helpful sheet below, and come up with different shapes for your cacti. For each cactus, you want to make sure that you draw the shape of it first. Don't worry about texture right away. We will add texture more closer to the end of the drawing rather than right away. So you're going to get in all your shapes for your cacti. After you're done drawing all your cacti, I'm just going to go right on the edge of the pot um, just because it looks like it's, you know, just falling off the space. So I'm going to continue finishing up that pot, so the back of the pot you can see. Now it's the texture. Cacti are very pointy. You touch it out. So you're going to create little straight lines coming off of the cacti. That's going to give it that texture that it's very pointy, very sharp. And you're going to go over all the cacti. Some cacti, or I call them succulents, do not have any of those needles sticking out. So they are more smooth. You do not have to add these little lines to them because you want to create that smooth look. So my little small one in the front, I'm not going to add any points because I want that to come off smooth. After you're done adding texture to all your cacti, again I'm leaving that little small one smooth. Um, so that's, I want that to portray a succulent. Alright, now it's time to design your pot. You can design your pot using different lines, different shapes, different patterns. After you're done designing your awesome pot with whatever design you'd like to do, you are going to grab a marker and I want you to outline all of your pencil lines. You can also use black crown as well. After you're done outlining, if you used marker, you're going to use an eraser. If you used crown, you do not have to, but you want to get your pencil marks. As you can see, I added some texture into the dirt as well with little dots. You can do that with your marker or crown. Now it's my favorite part. It's time to color. And there you have it. Your still life. You use different lines to create texture for all your cacti. I hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.